Hi, I'm Hannah Howard. And I'm Paul Finelli. Hannah and I are analysts on the media team here at Gabelli Funds. Today we are going to discuss the Barbenheimer phenomenon and implications for stocks related to the release of these two films. Paul, for those who are not familiar, what is Barbenheimer? Barbenheimer is the portmanteau combining the titles of the Barbie and Oppenheimer films, which both opened the weekend of July 21st. Anticipation of the film's release went viral on social media, with many people buying tickets to see a double feature. And how have the films done in relation to box office expectations so far? They've gone on to blow away box office expectations in an otherwise disappointing summer for theaters. That's very exciting. Can you tell us a little bit more and help put in context how the films have performed through their second weekend on the big screen? As of Sunday, Barbie has grossed about $350 million domestically and $775 million globally. The film, produced by Warner Brothers Mattel, has done much better than the studio could have imagined for the $145 million picture. A month ago, people would have laughed if you told them Barbie would do $1 billion at the box office, and now the film is on pace to comfortably exceed that milestone. And then what about Oppenheimer? Oppenheimer has also done better than expected as well, especially for an R-rated film about scientists and politicians discussing the ethics of nuclear war. The film, produced by Comcast Universal Studios, has done about $175 million domestically and $400 million globally so far against a budget of about $100 million. What does the success of these two films say about the broader theatrical exhibition business moving forward? I think that it shows that compelling stories that are well executed and creatively marketed can capture the zeitgeist and get people excited to go to the theater. Obviously, it's hard to predict what will go viral on social media, but when you compare it to flops this summer like The Flash and The Haunted Mansion, the differences are stark. How do you think about the impact of releasing a film like Oppenheimer in IMAX in particular? For a film like Oppenheimer, its release in IMAX helps to further eventize the film. 20% of the opening weekend box office of Oppenheimer came from IMAX, which is a stunning achievement. How has the Barbenheimer phenomenon impacted the, the areas you look at more specifically? I know that I have not been able to get the Barbie soundtrack out of my head since seeing the picture. So in addition to Barbie crushing at the box office, she's also dominating the music charts. The soundtrack, Barbie the Album, was executive produced by Mark Ronson and features original songs by a number of leading artists, including Lizzo, Nicki Minaj, Dua Lipa, and Billie Eilish, among others. A whole host of tracks from the soundtrack have impacted the wider official singles charts, with a total of six entries across the top 40. It is also leading the UK's compilations chart and is the current number one in Australia. And will it impact any companies in particular? A name we've discussed on here before is Warner Music Group. They have the Barbie soundtrack via one of their labels, Atlantic Records, so should benefit in particular. Tell us a little bit more about how the release of the Barbie soundtrack will impact WMG. The company has said publicly that they expect the Barbie soundtrack to be a strong contributor, which should help drive improved results in their recorded music streaming business in the second half of the year. When the album was released on July 21st, it also came out in a number of physical formats, including several variants of vinyl records and cassette tapes. So Warner Music anticipates it will likely create an uplift in both streaming and physical sales for them. It really is amazing the impact these films are having across the media landscape. I agree. To learn more about Gabelli Fund's research-driven investment approach, email invest at gabelli.com. Thank you.